The town suddenly shakes violently. The wind was gusting in the streets. At first everyone thought it was an earthquake. Then a strong force hit the ground hard. Dale was immediately shocked. The cow in front of him was split in half. Was he hallucinating? He didn't realize it was real until he touched the cow's blood. Then he put his hand in front of him. When he touched the wall of air, he also felt an electric current. The small bungalow on the side was also split in two. A bright red palm mark was fixed in midair. Joe, who was passing by, was curious. When he touched the barrier, he was also electrocuted. Even the crows in the sky broke their necks. Apparently, the air wall was higher than he thought. Then a plane passed overhead. It hit the wall and exploded instantly. Joe was still in place waiting to be smashed in the face. Fortunately, Dale was able to save his life. Looking at the black smoke from the plane high above, everyone didn't know what had happened. All internet signals were down. A woman was driving on the highway of a small town. At that moment a big truck came across the road. And then... At the critical moment, the woman driver actually hit the brakes. In the end, they avoided a tragedy. And the head of the truck was hit by the huge impact into the car. Several people were terrified when they saw it. The girl was stunned on the spot. On the other hand, a fire truck saw the crash and entered the town. Dale saw the situation and rushed to stop it. But it was going very fast. In the nick of time, the firefighters stopped the car. The unsuspecting driver was about to punch Dale in the face. But he was stopped by a wall of air. Because the barrier cut off both voices, Dale could only communicate by text. The town police were at a loss when they arrived. They called the air wall dome. There were a lot of casualties in the town. Those who were unlucky were even split in half by the dome. Soon a large number of outside journalists and soldiers arrived. The military immediately sealed off the place. Several scientists scanned the dome with instruments and then sprayed water on it to test. After some operations, not only the water could not penetrate the air wall, even the corrosive liquid cannot penetrate it. People realized that the town was closed off by the air wall. The sheriff here was inspecting the perimeter. He was curious to put his hand on it. At once his chest felt a little uncomfortable. The next second his pacemaker exploded, and so he lost his breath on the spot. After this incident, the town was on edge. Someone tried to dig a hole under the dome but was stopped by neighbors. Because of what happened to the sheriff, they found out that if the machine touched the dome, it would be detonated directly. Since we cannot dig now, then let's try a bomb shelter 100 meters deep. I did not expect that the dome still existed underground. It seems that this thing is not only terribly high and also unfathomable. After contacting the dome, the flashlight immediately exploded. By now, someone had lost his mind. He fired two shots at the dome in anger, but the bullets bounced back. This led to the death of his colleague next to him. This action made everyone feel more and more uneasy. This is an invisible but palpable wall of air. The whole town was cut off from the world by it. People lived like this for six days. The town's water and food supply was depleted. Dale thought he could go to the lake to get water. Instead, he saw many white belly at the lake. They took a sample and went back. It turned out that the water could catch fire. It turned out that dome had cut the pipe, resulting in the flow of chemicals into the lake. Meanwhile, the outside military started to evacuate. The crowd thought that the government outside had abandoned them. The situation instantly went out of control. People broke into the supermarket without a second thought, grabbing what was left of the food and drinking water. The former neighbors also became enemies in the fight for supplies. In desperation, the town's police used tear gas, but this did not stop them. She had no choice but to pull out her gun. Fortunately, the second before she fired, rain fell from the sky. The rain eased the people's anger, but Dome did not disappear. This place is a world apart from the outside world. It seems that the Dome has its own microclimate. At night, people are still storing water. At dawn, the military brought in everyone's outside relatives, because neither side could hear each other's voices. We can only communicate with words or gestures. It looked like a reunion of family and friends, but Dale sensed danger. He found a woman who could speak lips to communicate with the outside world. The soldier tells him, in order to prevent Dome from causing panic in the outside world, the military decided to use a nuclear bomb to destroy the dome. All the people in the nearby cities will be evacuated. As for whether the people inside will survive or not, it will be left to fate. After learning this news, everyone had to enter the bomb shelter for refuge. For the impending death, they seemed to have no fear anymore. All they had was a sense of sadness for their families. A nuclear bomb fell from a high altitude. The dome was hit and exploded violently. 
However, the result was beyond everyone's expectation. Not only was the dome undamaged, they didn't even hear a sound. They didn't know whether to be thankful or sad. Such a strong dome, it meant that they would probably never get out. The city outside had been completely destroyed by the explosion. As far as the eye could see, there was nothing but rubble outside. This incident made everyone in despair again, but things soon took a turn for the worse. Joe and Angie didn't know what they were doing in the woods. They accidentally found a raised haystack. Angie reached over, but was electrocuted straight back. They didn't have to think twice before they plucked the weeds. Then they rinsed it with water. A small dome appeared in front of them. There was also a black egg inside. Angie thought that the black egg was controlling the dome of the town. Then she said to it. Hello. Who are you talking to? Seeing no response from the black egg, they put their hands together on the top. Then a strange scene happened. Angie saw her mother right in front of her. When they removed their hands, the mother was gone again. Angie vaguely felt that this was a sign of danger, so she ran home right away. Sure enough, something was wrong. Her mother had a heart attack. Due to the limited medical care in the town, it didn't take long for her mother to die. Angie came to Dome in anguish. She kept asking him what he wanted to do. At that moment, the black egg in the woods actually reacted. By the next day, Little Dome appeared in the storage room of their house. It was a very strange little black egg. Three people put their hands on it at the same time. The next moment, it emitted a dazzling blue light. And then emerged the fourth vacant palm print. Then they found another little friend. Now it's amazing. Little Dome is like a fingerprint lock. When the fourth palm was placed on it, the pink light inside quickly gathered. Suddenly the light went out. Immediately after the small black egg emitted countless small stars, although it looks beautiful, but it did not solve any problems. The next day a butterfly emerged from the small dome. It struggled to break through the barrier. As it hit the dome, black stains appeared. They could not let it out. After some torment, the butterfly did not respond. Just then the dome outside also became dark. Black patches gradually covered the entire dome. People's fear spread rapidly. The tense and oppressive atmosphere made the temperature inside drop to the freezing point. In the blink of an eye, the whole town was plunged into darkness. Perhaps the real end had come. Everyone gathered in the church to pray. They thought they had to get the butterfly out. At this moment, four palm prints emerged from the small black dome. Everyone pressed their palms together without thinking too hard. The dome first emitted an extremely blinding white light. Then he broke to pieces. Fortunately, the butterfly inside came to life. But not even three seconds before everyone was happy. The black egg appeared abnormal. It swayed while emitting a dazzling light. As if it was about to explode. The air raid shelter was about to collapse. Everyone was ready to run away. But Dale's girlfriend, who was not afraid of death, picked it up. Surprisingly, earthquake actually stopped. Even the awakened butterflies are around her. Because of the several times to touch the little dome, it did not show any useful information. They took the black egg back to the original woods. And as expected, here they all saw the image of Angie's mother. But she said she was an alien. She took on the faces of her relatives to facilitate communication. The dome in town is a test of their humanity. Just put the black egg in the water. The town dome will open. So Dale's girlfriend threw it into the middle of the lake. The next second, the pink stars inside the black egg burst out of the water. They rose slowly with the light, like falling shooting stars going home. People in the town also saw this magical phenomenon. Finally they gathered above the dome. The darkness of the night became light, but the dome did not disappear. Is this a joke played by aliens? What kind of conspiracy are the aliens hiding? What more secrets will the dome have? Subscribe and comment if you like this video. See you next time.